After decades of service, the UH-60 Black Hawk is set to be replaced by the V-280 Valor, a groundbreaking decision made by the U.S. Army in December 2022. This selection marked a new chapter for the future Long Range Assault Aircraft, or FLRAA, program, which aims to usher in a faster, more versatile generation of helicopters. By August 2024, the program reached a crucial milestone, with the approval of Milestone B initiating the transition into the engineering and manufacturing development phase. During this stage, six prototypes will be constructed and tested to assess their performance, reliability, and suitability for the future battlefield. As Douglas R. Bush, the Army's acquisition executive, stated, FELRAA will provide significantly increased speed, range, and endurance for the Army's future assault and medevac capabilities. Everything started in 2009, when the future vertical lift FVL program was launched as part of the U.S. military's broader strategy to modernize its helicopter fleet. The goal of the program is to develop a new generation of aircraft that can meet the evolving demands of modern warfare. The FVL program focuses on creating helicopters that are faster, have longer range, and are more survivable in combat. Additionally, these aircraft must be versatile enough to operate in a wide range of environments, including regions where traditional helicopters face limitations, such as the Indo-Pacific. The program is divided into several categories, each targeting different types of missions. These categories include light, medium, and heavy lift helicopters, designed to cover the wide range of operations needed by the U.S. Army, Navy, and other military branches. The overarching goal is to create a flexible fleet that can support diverse military operations over longer distances and in more challenging environments. One of the key components of the FVL program is the future long-range assault aircraft project, which was initiated in 2019. The FLRAA focuses specifically on replacing the UH-60 Blackhawk, a helicopter that has been in service since the 1970s. The Blackhawk has been a reliable asset for decades, but modern warfare demands aircraft with enhanced capabilities, such as greater speed and range. In December 2022, Bell's V-280 Valor was awarded the FELRAA contract, beating its competitor, the Sikorsky Boeing Defiant X. This decision marked a significant milestone in U.S. military aviation. The Army chose a tiltrotor aircraft to replace the traditional Black Hawk helicopter. This is a bold shift as the V-280's tiltrotor design offers much higher speeds and longer range than conventional helicopters. However, this configuration also introduces new operational requirements and challenges, signaling a new era for U.S. Army aviation. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. Before jumping into the specs of the V-280, let's take a moment to go through the tiltrotor technology and its development, and the operational challenges that have shaped the platform. Tiltrotor aircraft are distinct because they combine key features of both helicopters and airplanes. This technology allows them to take off and land vertically, like a helicopter, while also flying at higher speeds and covering greater distances, similar to a traditional airplane. Bell Helicopter pioneered this technology as early as the 1950s with the XV-3, an experimental aircraft designed to explore the feasibility of tiltrotors. While the XV-3 had its limitations, it successfully demonstrated that tiltrotors held promise for the future of aviation. Building on this progress, Bell introduced the XV-15 in the 1970s. It was a major improvement, offering greater speed, stability, and practicality. Its success showed that tiltrotors could be used not just for testing, but for real-world applications, setting the stage for future military use. The lessons learned from this development played a crucial role in the creation of the V-22 Osprey, the first tiltrotor aircraft to enter full military service. Designed in the 1980s and introduced into service in 2007, the V-22 represented a significant advancement. It could fly faster and farther than traditional helicopters, making it ideal for missions requiring long-range troop transport. However, it faced significant challenges. Many of the Osprey's issues were tied to its complex design, particularly the fact that its entire engine nacelles tilt, creating mechanical challenges and increasing the risk of failures. The Osprey was also expensive to maintain, partly due to these mechanical complexities, which strained its operational availability. Moreover, 
The aircraft's operational environment posed challenges such as difficulties with high altitudes and dusty conditions in regions like Afghanistan, which further impacted performance. In addition, several high-profile crashes during its early service years raised questions about the safety and reliability of tiltrotor technology. One of the most notable accidents occurred in April 2000, when a crash during a training exercise resulted in the deaths of 19 Marines. This and other incidents highlighted the complexity of managing a tiltrotor system. Even in more recent years, the V-22 has continued to experience mechanical issues. Between 2010 and 2022, there were over 15 documented incidents involving the clutch system, where one engine failed to properly transfer power to both rotors during malfunction scenarios. While many of these incidents did not result in fatalities, they contributed to ongoing concerns about the aircraft's mechanical reliability. Unfortunately, some recent accidents have had tragic consequences. In August 2023, a crash during a training exercise in Australia claimed the lives of three U.S. Marines and injured 20 others. In November 2023, another crash off the coast of Japan resulted in the deaths of eight crew members. These incidents have reignited discussions about the safety of tiltrotor aircraft and prompted further investigations. Despite these concerns, over time the V-22 has proved operationally valuable, particularly for long-range troop transport and special operations. However, its early reputation and recurring issues continue to fuel skepticism about tiltrotor technology in some circles. But it is important to note that while tiltrotor technology has its specific challenges, helicopters in general are considered high-risk vehicles. Helicopter operations, especially in military contexts, face unique hazards due to low-altitude flying, complex maneuvering, and exposure to enemy fire. These factors often make helicopter missions some of the riskiest in aviation. Even the UH-60 Blackhawk has faced its share of incidents and crashes. During its early years, the Blackhawk experienced over 20 non-combat crashes between 1981 and 1985, leading to the deaths of 37 soldiers. Throughout its long service, the Black Hawk has continued to experience crashes, many due to the inherent risks of helicopter operations, such as difficult landing zones, poor weather, and mechanical issues. The infamous Black Hawk Down incident in Mogadishu in 1993 is a prime example of the vulnerability of helicopters in combat environments. More recently, in March 2023, a mid-air collision between two Black Hawk helicopters during a training mission near Fort Campbell, Kentucky, resulted in the deaths of nine soldiers. Bell took these lessons from both the Osprey and Black Hawk's experiences to improve the design of the V-280, aiming to create a more reliable and cost-effective solution for the future of military aviation. Now let's take a look at the key improvements made to this new helicopter. One of the major differences between the V-280 and the V-22 lies in their nacelle design. The nacelles house the engines and rotors, and in the Osprey, the entire nacelle tilts along with the rotors to transition between helicopter-like vertical takeoff and airplane-like forward flight. While this design gave the Osprey impressive versatility, it also made the aircraft more mechanically complex, which led to higher maintenance demands and reliability concerns. The Valor, however, uses a fixed nacelle design, where only the rotors and drive shafts tilt while the engines remain in place. This simplification of the tiltrotor mechanism significantly reduces the mechanical complexity compared to the V-22, making the V-280 easier to maintain and less prone to mechanical failures. This design change also improves the overall operational reliability of the new platform, making it more suitable for sustained field operations. Its design focuses on improving both speed and range, allowing it to outperform traditional helicopters like the Black Hawk, the V-280 has a top speed of 305 knots, about 350 miles per hour, which is significantly faster than the Black Hawk's maximum speed of around 150 knots. This enhanced speed enables the Valor to quickly transport troops and supplies over much greater distances, which is especially valuable in modern military operations that often require long-range mobility. In addition to its speed, it offers an impressive combat range of up to 900 miles, which is two to three times the range of the Black Hawk. This extended range makes the V-280 ideal for missions in areas where forward operating bases are scarce, such as in the Indo-Pacific region or other geographically challenging environments. The Valor can carry up to 12 soldiers, excluding the crew, 
which is a substantial load for an aircraft designed to move troops quickly across long distances. The new helicopter also introduces several safety improvements, making it a more dependable platform. One of the most notable safety features is the connected rotor system. Here, the two rotors are connected by a drive shaft, meaning that if one engine fails, the other engine can still power both rotors. This allows the platform to continue flying at a reduced rate and perform an emergency landing safely, even in the event of a single engine failure. This is a significant improvement in terms of reliability and survivability, reducing the risk of catastrophic accidents during flight. Additionally, the fixed nacelle design not only simplifies maintenance but also reduces the likelihood of mechanical failures, which further improves the aircraft's overall safety. By addressing the mechanical complexity that plagued earlier tiltrotor designs, the V-280 is expected to have a much lower mishap rate compared to the V-22. These design advancements do more than improve maintenance and reliability. They directly translate into superior operational performance. The speed and range of the Valor make it an invaluable asset for combat missions that require rapid deployment and quick reaction forces. In modern warfare, speed often determines the difference between success and failure, particularly in special operations, rescue missions, and counterterrorism activities. Its ability to transport troops and equipment swiftly across vast distances significantly enhances the military's capacity to neutralize threats before they can escalate into larger conflicts. In medical evacuation, medevac scenarios, the V-280's speed is equally vital. The military refers to the golden hour as the crucial first hour following a severe injury, during which receiving advanced medical care can greatly improve the chances of survival. Its high speed and ability to travel more than twice the distance of the Black Hawk allow it to reach wounded soldiers faster, potentially reducing fatalities in combat zones or remote locations. This capability makes the Valor an effective tool for saving lives under extreme conditions. In addition to speed, the V-280 can carry the same types of medical teams and equipment as the Black Hawk, ensuring that it performs medevac missions with the same level of care but at greater speeds and ranges. This capability could significantly improve survival rates in future military engagements. One of the concerns often raised about the new platform is its larger wingspan. At nearly 82 feet, the V-280 is much wider than the Black Hawk, which has a wingspan of just 53 feet. This increased size means it may encounter difficulties when attempting to land in confined spaces or densely forested areas, where the Black Hawk is better suited. However, its increased operational range and speed help offset this limitation. In long-range engagements, particularly in scenarios involving near-peer adversaries such as China or Russia, the Valor's ability to launch missions from farther away and reach the battlefield faster may outweigh the challenges of finding tight landing zones. In many cases, the ability to quickly insert or evacuate troops is more crucial than the need to land in confined areas. Furthermore, Bell has designed the V-280 to be versatile enough to adapt to a variety of landing environments. While it may not always fit into every space the Black Hawk can, its overall tactical advantages in terms of speed, range, and versatility make it a highly valuable tool for the U.S. Army in future operations. Bell Helicopter first introduced the Valor in 2013. Over the following years, the V-280 advanced through the critical phases of design and engineering, leading to significant ground tests of key components by 2015. The first flight occurred in December 2017 at Bell's Amarillo, Texas facility. By 2020, the aircraft had completed over 200 hours of flight testing, providing valuable data to the U.S. Army for evaluating its capabilities in terms of speed, range, and overall performance. In August 2024, the program entered the engineering and manufacturing development phase, marking a major step toward production and deployment. Major General Michael C. McCurry, the 17th Chief of the U.S. Army Aviation Branch, emphasized the importance of this milestone. This is an exciting day for the Army, and more importantly for our soldiers. The Feller AA provides truly transformational capability to Army aviators as we uphold the sacred trust with the soldier on the ground. Future battlefields require expanded maneuver, the ability to sustain and provide command and control across vast distances, and of course, evacuate our wounded. All of these apply to both conventional and special operations forces. With roughly twice the range and twice the speed, FELRAA brings unmatched combat capability to the joint force. 
Looking ahead, the Army plans for the first FLRAA prototype to take flight in 2026, with low-rate initial production beginning in 2028. The goal is to start fielding the first V-280 tilt rotors by 2030, gradually taking over the roles of the UH-60 Blackhawk. Although the exact number of Valors to be produced is still uncertain, the FLRAA aircraft will not replace the Army's 2,000 Blackhawks on a one-to-one -one basis. The transition from the Blackhawk to the V-280 will be a gradual process, similar to how the UH-60 phased out the UH-1 Huey over several decades. The Blackhawk will continue to serve an important role in the military for many years to come, thanks to its proven reliability, ease of maintenance, and existing infrastructure. Even as the V-280 is introduced, the Blackhawk will remain operational, ensuring the military can continue using its existing platforms while smoothly upgrading to the next generation of aircraft. This phased approach allows the Valor to serve alongside the Black Hawk during the transition period, ensuring minimal disruption as the Army adopts new technologies and integrates the new platform as the primary medium lift transport aircraft for the future. Speaking about costs, the V-280 program represents a significant financial investment. In December 2022, Bell was awarded an initial contract valued at $232 million to continue the development and testing of the platform. This contract included options that could increase its value to $1.2 billion as the program advances. The total projected cost of the FLRAA program is estimated to range between $70 and $80 billion over the program's lifetime. This includes both research and development and the procurement of hundreds of aircraft over the next few decades. The per unit cost of the V-280 is expected to fall between 40 and $50 million, depending on the final configuration and production volume. These costs are considerably lower than the Osprey's estimated unit cost, which is closer to $70 million. This price reduction is largely due to the Valor's simplified design, which reduces mechanical complexity and makes it more cost-effective to produce and maintain. So the program represents a multi-billion dollar investment in the future of U.S. military aviation. The development and procurement costs reflect the scale and significance of the project, ensuring that the Army is equipped with cutting-edge capabilities to meet the demands of 21st century warfare. With its expanded roles and ongoing improvements, the V-280 is poised to become a central component of the next generation of Army aviation, providing the U.S. military with the tools necessary to maintain its technological edge on the battlefield.